Welcome back. It's been quite a while. This is the finale, the Onderon Saga finale. We'll, we'll just head right into it. This this game has been pretty incredible, um, so I'm excited to see how things play out here. Thanks so much for all the uh, all the feedback, all the comments, all the all the watching, <laughs> the likes, uh, all the good stuff. It's been nice. Chapter 30x, before the storm. Jaka has conquered Mortimer's ancestral home of Castle Steel and defeated his allies. After Galahad tells Jaka, J J Jaka where to find the new tyrant king, he decides to take a short rest. In this final phase, Jaka and his comrades prepare themselves for their last challenge. Mortimer retreated to a Lightbringer shrine, his last resort I'd wager. What's his goal? Knowing him, he probably has a plan to wipe us all out. He's been two steps ahead ever since he took action, but even he must be running low on options. Uh, considering, his, considering his losses of late, let's not hype him up too much. He's a man, not a god, and you men are dumb as bricks. What I know of the shrines is they possess ancient magic. Mortimer's, Mortimer rebuilt the largest shrine of them all, Lumina. He must have had a reason. Don't shrines only prevent terrors from crawling out of the ground? How can he turn them into weapons? Perhaps he's found a way to reverse a shrine's power. He might intend to summon an army of terrors to attack us. By Pyrion. Pyrion, Py Py Pyrion, I, I hope that you're way off the mark, Jaka. As do I. Even necromancers would struggle to control a horde of terrors. Do you think Mortimer is capable of such a feat? He doesn't seem the sort to dabble in da da dark arts. I underestimated Mortimer once. I won't make that mistake again. Let's continue assuming he has planned far into the future. I fear we've been playing into the ha his hands this entire time. Gosh, I'm sorry. Right, so, any thoughts on how to proceed, boss? Well, I have one idea, but it's pretty dumb. We, m we have many powerful regalia in our care, and we have brave soldiers to wield them. However, some of these weapons are not in the best of shape. Luckily, we can fix that. Castle Steel holds some of the best forges and master blacksmiths in all of Onderon. I've ordered all regalia re repaired so we can use them in battle when the time comes. If Mortimer intends to summon forth terrors, we will at least have proper weapons to use. Once they're ready, we'll set out for the Lumina Shrine and put an end to Mortimer. That's your plan? Walk blindly into the trap? He's surely laid out for us? Sounds like you're letting him pick the flow of the battlefield. You have any better ideas? I'm all ears, Darius. If he raises an undead army, sticks to his necromancers could seize control. We could turn those terrors into our side and destroy his ambitions. Oh sure, great idea. Bring lots of necromancers into Onderon. There's no way that'll backfire. Guess I haven't done enough to make you trust me yet. Shame. Alright people, let's calm it down. To nix your idea, Darius. I don't trust necromancers who only recently changed their allegiances. You might be a swell guy, but those were your father's men a week ago. I say we charge headlong into the shrine and fight whatever he throws at us. If we lose, at least we go down swinging. Sounds like it'd be an exciting ending. For someone who'll outlive us all, you sure seem eager to throw your life away. All I know is sitting here will accomplish nothing. Mortimer needs to die, right? So let's murder the bastard. Why overcomplicate things? I like your way of thinking, Tendaris. <laughs> the smiths have begun heating up the forges and are getting ready to work. The regalia will be repaired and ready for battle before the night arrives. I was under the impression it'll take you several days. You're good at this. It's my job. Uh, right. Aren't you afraid the Steelborn will stab you in your sleep? You're only a commoner. You don't command their house. Not at all. Bowdymon vouch for the Steel Knights' unwavering loyalty. They follow or orders like well-trained dogs. No treachery in their playbook. Ah, uh, Prince Bowdymon. His death, his death was what started all of this, wasn't it? Sounds like quite the character. I wish I'd spoken to him in person. Same. We only shook ha hands at the border, but he left a strong impression. I liked the look in his eyes. He seemed like a good man. Yeah, he was. You okay, Jaka? I'm fine. Well, let's prepare then. No time for dilly dallying. Absolutely. Get your affairs in order. Once the regalia are fixed, we ride. 
Speak to Brianna to get clues about Mortimer's plans. After that, have Jocka wait on the throne to end the chapter. Speak to the Steel Knight if you need to buy supplies. Okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I'm broke. Okay, so there's not a whole lot of people to talk to. Well, maybe there is, but uh, there we're just kind of spread out. But I think we ought to do some conversating if this is our last chance, you know? We'll start with Darius. I can't wait. To fight Mortimer? No, I can't wait for you to become king, Jaka. Huh? Th that isn't the plan. Rather, Elanda will rule Amaran soon. When she uh, passes, Aemon will assume the role once he ages. I have no desire for the throne. That's the best part. Those who hate politics make great rulers. Therefore, I anticipate make you Onderon's king in the future. I'm not cut out to be a ruler. All I want is a simple life. Make some gold as a mercenary, marry a pretty wife, have kids, retire to a cozy forest cottage, spend my remaining days fishing. That's a life I'd enjoy most. Becoming king would grant you great riches and women. You can step up your kids. You can set up your kids to live well. Have your pick of any plot to build your ideal cabin. Am I getting through to you at all? Why are you so determined to make me assume the throne? I already said I don't want it. I've made my desires clear. There comes a time when every man must step up for the common good. Onderon deserves a virtuous king. Who better than the Lord of Lances? I see. Every word you've spoken was carefully planned, Darius. You don't care about noble kings. You want an ally on the throne. Better me than a lightbringer who may go to war with Styxia someday. Was I that obvious? My apologies. But yes, I dislike Lightbringers. They're also morally uptight. They have sticks up their bums. Always so self-righteous, violent towards those they agree with, disagree with. Styxia would appreciate a mentally balanced king. And you better make good friends with Aemon. Treat him well as a kid to avert cat cat catastrophes. I won't be sitting on that throne. Ugh, that's too bad. Seems like Darius has uh, always something to... Uh, an agenda to forward with what he's saying, and uh, I feel like that's not the first time we've really seen him be like, ah, you got me. Yeah, yeah. At last, the big day is almost here. This friendly skeleton will beat Marty's butt. Oh, do you have something against Mortimer himself? No, no, don't be silly, buddy. But you gotta promise me. Promise what? Promise me I'll get to land the killing blow. A lot of people want that honor, including me. What makes you want to do it yourself, though? Did Mortimer hurt you? It's nothing like that. I just want the glory. If I kill him, the girls will be all over me. Of course, I should have known. Hmm? W what's up? I just noticed. What is that scroll in your hand? I didn't take you for a reading books type. Oh yeah, uh, it's nothing big. It's just some old historical tome. I mean, I've never seen you read. Do you have? Do you even have eyeballs? Yeah, I do. Don't keep me suspense. What's the scroll ab about? Well, it's a historical ledger. It's called the Lich's Wrath. As you can guess, it's about Queen Lich, Lich Queen Morganus's life. Hmm, the mightiest Lich to ever walk the mortal, pl mortal plane. We still have her amulet. I'm pretty sure I sold it, actually. I take it you're a fan of her exploits and legends? Yeah, you could say that. She was an evil figure. History wasn't kind to her. But we Styxians still look up to her for inspiration. Huh, <laughs> you seem to have a reverent tone for her. Don't tell me there's a cult in her name. No, nah, nothing like that. I see. Ahmed, are you alright? Huh? Of course I am. I had just spaced out for a second. Don't forget to give me all the weapons we recovered. I need to grow my salvaging empire ASAP, Lord of Lances. Absolutely. I'll see you around, Ahmed. You too, buddy. <laughs> Morganus. Okay. Not sure what that's about. Alrighty, so I think we'll uh, see Zacharias. Dawn of the final day. The end approaches. Do you feel fear, Lord of Lances? I'd be lying if I said I didn't. But more than that, I feel rage. Fear is good. Rage is good. I've experienced both. Hmm, you're usually so stoic. I can't see you being afraid. The vessel you see before you is a shadow of my former self. A thousand years spent living between worlds worlds has changed me. Life, death. These are concepts I once thought polar opposites. Now I realize they are two sides of the same coin. What do you mean by that? 
When a person dies, their soul travels to the great beyond. It enter enters the cycle of samsara, awaiting future reincarnation. Those with bad karma rebirth as pitiful existences, like bugs. And good karma makes you rebirth as a king? I make no promises. Hmm. So what sort of karma has Mortimer reaped? He is a misguided child. His ambitions were noble. But in the end, they will un look, on look on him unfavorably. They? Underon's people? Those cursed to die in the hordes of hell. Lord of Lances, mortality is rarely ever black and white. We exist in a gray reality ruled by gods of grayness. Mortimer has committed many evils and many good deeds, but his history is unkind to its losers and fallen. As it should be. Are you certain? You need not to if you don't want to. No, it's fine. I have to step up now. I didn't like the old bastard, but but you won't let your house suffer. Ugh, it's such a pain. What's a pain? Did something happen? Oh, hey, Jaka. No, not really. It's just my father's dead. House Windlands doesn't have an heir other than me, so... I don't want you to overwork yourself, Lord Chum. We can hire a noble who can take over the house. They'll manage its daily needs and send you a list. That won't do. The people of Windlands are innocent. I'm not going to sit by while some bureaucrat runs things. It's my job, so I'll have to get in there and fix stuff. Do you have the slightest idea how to run a house's operations? Not a clue. That's why it's such a pain, man. You don't know, owe anyone anything. I don't know why you insist. Look, my old man spread his hatred all over our borders. I want to make sure our house becomes a refuge for everyone. As the male heir, it's my job to update our old traditions. Wow, I didn't take you for the stiff and studious type, Sean. What the hell else am I going to do? Not like I've got much going on. I'll stay by your side and help, my lord. Thanks. That means a lot to me, Madeline. I don't know if that was a te text skip or if I accidentally hit something. Jaka? Caroline, I was wondering, what do you do after the war? Assuming we survive, Mortimer won't win. You can count on it. Well, I was return thinking of returning to my house. Hmm, wait. You're red hair. You're a flame guard? No, I'm a baroness of House Claymore. But my bloodline is quite diluted. Oh, Claymore. That's Victoria's house. Are you two related? Victoria? Yeah, Lady Victoria of Claymore. She's in the mer in this bleh, she's in this mercenary corps. Haven't you spoken to her? Ah, I see. You weren't aware. House Claymore was dissolved. What remains of my house is scattered across Onderon. Our former leader gambled our assets and heritages away. After that, we split into a number of smaller houses. When my house was separated, that's when I met Armand. My father bet betrothed me so we could make ends meet. Armand was kind, was a kind, loving man. He treated me well, but it hurt to see my childhood home sold off. Yeah, I bet. Victoria's from our family's main branch. Unfortunately, the two of us haven't met. I think you'd get along well. Want me to introduce you? No, that's fine. I doubt the two of us have much in common. I've become acclimated to the snotty, snuck-up noble class. From what I know of Victoria, she's a bit of a free spirit. I'd only drag her down. I wouldn't go that far. You two could become be at besties. You say the strangest things sometimes. Yeah, is it a little unjaka of him to say besties? Say, Tendaris, I wanted to talk to you about something. What I screw up this time, boss? It's nothing like that. It's you're acting too recklessly. You remind me of Bowdybon. Thanks for the compliment. No, that, that's not what I meant. And it's not a good thing. Why does it seem like you're eager to die to Mortimer? You're a dragon. You'll live for hundreds of years. I'm a royal dragon. I may even live for thousands. You're dodging the point. Okay, so what? You think I should be more cautious? Don't you see the pro problem? If you die, that will mean... I see your conundrum. You think I'm being flippant with my life. You're worried I'm evaluating my remaining years a bit too poorly. To put it mildly, yes. Jaka, why do humans climb giant icy mountains? I beg your pardon? The odds of making it to the summit are low. You don't live many years either. Why cut that li why cut what little bleh, why cut what little you do have short? I'm listening. If I die while I'm 200, I use out lose out on hundreds of years. If you die while you're 30, you lose on 60 years. 
But relatively speaking, a year is more valuable to you than me. In either case, death still cuts a short a person, a person's valuable years. You're losing me. I'm not worried about losing my life. I'm worried I'll waste it. A life spent in fear of death is a life not worth remembering. I'd rather die climbing a peak at 50 than in bed as old Drake. So you see, Jaka, I'm not planning to die tomorrow. But if I do, at least I'll have lived my best life. I see. Well, I can't refute your logic. I see why Bowdymon liked you so much. If only we had more time to become better friends. Damn, Helga. You, uh... You look terrible. You need anything? Jaka, you're still awful at small talk. Yeah, sorry. I do worry about you every day. Will your condition get better anytime soon? The opposite. It's worsening. Elanda's soul is a sieve. A sieve? Her life force is draining faster than I expected. At this rate, neither of us have much time left. Don't give me those puppy dog eyes. I don't want your pity. I want Mortimer dead. The sooner we kill him, the sooner I can die. Are... are you in pain? Agony. The worst migraine of your life. Imagine the worst night migraine of your life. Now pretend it's hurting your whole body. Worse, I'm having trouble keeping myself awake. It's like my bed is calling out to me all the time. Well, we all like sleep. Maybe it's just... Promise me when you reach Mortimer, I get to kill him. If I'm too tired, take my arm and stab him a bunch. He hurt Ayla for no reason. I won't forgive him. I'll do what I can. It's pretty messed up. Oh, brother, what do you want? Nice to see you, too. Getting along well? Let me remind you. You pay me to kill, not to talk. The moment you bore me, this conversation is finished. Why are you such a... interesting person? Be more specific. You don't care about anything but money. It seems like a hollow life to live. Money makes the world go around. Without it, your weapons will rest. Hardy har. I'm serious. The world revolves around those with and without. If you have gold, you're powerful, and if you don't, you're not. Do you want more money so you can obtain power? Not quite. I desire absolute freedom. I want nothing to obstruct my path. Money does open countless doors. Fun fact, when I was only a child, my mother sold me. When I grew up, I searched for her, found her, and killed her. Nobody, nobody double crosses me now. I do almost anything I want. Almost anything? Well, I can't fly through the air like a birdie yet. Uh, maybe I'll just buy a Pegasus unit in the f future. I like to sail across the great ocean, too. Going to search for the old continent. If it strikes my fancy. Or I'll hunt mermaids. Haven't decided yet. Those poor fishies. Big brother. Femk, what's wrong? You look a little... Are you going to die tomorrow? What? S sis, where'd you get an idea like that? Ever since you saved us, I've been hearing people say scary things. They say you're gonna fight King Mortimer, and he has magic, and... Don't listen to those dummies. Your br big brother is awesome. I fought a big scary demon and beat him hand over foot. He was huge like a palace, and he was hairy like a lion, and... Poof. Huh? Did I say something funny? I I'm being serious. Big brother, you're fibbing again. What do you mean? No, I'm not. When you wave your hands, it means you're lying. That's what Mother says. A big scary demon. Yeah, right. I know you better. But I'm telling the truth. Remember that time you, you, you were in the bathroom with the spider? Then you screamed like a baby and Mom had to come kill it? That was a long time ago. You were like, Mom, help! Ah, it's so big and, and hairy! Save me! You had a high-pitched voice and you were shaking for hours after. You've added embellishments to that story over the years. I did not scream. It was more of a primal roar of fury. Hmm. Eek! It's on my hand! No way you fought a demon. You would have peed yourself. You, uh, haven't told that story to anyone here, have you? That depends. What are you gonna give me to be quiet? You little blackmailer. I'll get you more presents soon. Yay! I have the best big brother ever! I must return home safely. I never want to see Femke's sad face again. Jaka? Mother, I'm glad to see you're alright. You're about to become a national hero, Jaka. But you're also about to be in grave danger. I have dad's armor. I'll be fine. This is no time for jokes. Oh, Jocka, I'm so worried. You could die tomorrow. I hope you haven't been talking like that in front of Femke. Uh, well, 
<clears throat> Historically, killing a king has caused countless problems. We saw that with King Randall. We'll see it with Mortimer too. Those who de depose kings become tyrants. The ancient records are consistent. I know you would make a good king, but you don't intend to rule over Onderon. That means the person you choose may become Onderon's next tyrant instead. Elanda's boy, Eamon. He'll become king. That's the easy choice, Jaka, but is it the correct one? I... I think you should take control of Onderon's future. You would treat your fellow commoners well, wouldn't you? We've been stomped on for so long, nobody has any hope. That wouldn't be moral, Mother. Eamon is the rightful heir. Rightful? Who determines this? Why should blood choose a king? You should change the system. Why not abolish the monarchy? What would replace it? I don't know anything about politics. We could let peasants rule over themselves? If I tried, the houses would revert the laws then when I died. And besides, peasants can't rule themselves, Mother. They need a guiding hand. That is what the nobility wants us to believe. I'm convinced. Well, if you can work out a smarter system of governance, let me know. Until then, I'll stick with whatever I already know. I suppose you can't teach an old dog new tricks. I guess not. Chaka, before you go, I have something to give you. Mom, you don't need to give me anything. I'm glad you're okay. That's enough for me. No, it isn't. When you sent us money, I saved some of it. I wanted to buy a welcoming home present for you. I wasn't able to save up much, but I want you to have this. Mom. If you get hurt in ba battle, apply it to your wound. I'm sorry I couldn't buy you anything nicer. It's fine. Thank you, Mother. I'm glad you're here for me. I'll make sure to return home return home safely after I'm done. I'll hold you to that. Oh, that's cute. Oh, <laughs> she just got him a concoction. It's not even an elixir, but it's like, oh, wait, I didn't mean to. No! Goodbye, great sword. <laughs> we gotta we gotta keep uh, <laughs> Jaka's mom's concoction. Oh boy! All right. Uh, I think I do. I leave Brianna second to last after. Well, right. no, we have to. Uh, I'm confused. Okay, Galahad. Galahad, I need to ask you something. Hmm? What is it? Why would Mortimer want you dead? I'm pondering that myself. You were loyal to him for a long time, weren't you? I've had my eyes on Mortimer ever since he was a young boy. Something made him stand out from his other, his two older brothers. Like what? Ran Randall was an arrogant fool. Boudimont only wanted to drink. Neither of them would have made for good kings of Andra. I believed Mortimer was the more sensible choice. However, the third born is not very likely to end up ruling. That's why sometimes the hand of fate must be forced. How did the two of you both begin plotting together? We bonded over our dislike of Thorgrim. I was never close with my older brother, and Mortimer seemed to hate his father for how he treated his mother Maria. After the rebellion, Thorgrim tricked me by making me captain of the Steel Knights, an honorary title on the surface, but one that barred me from taking the throne. My brother, for all his brutality, was a shrewd politician, better than me. So the youngest brother of House Steel was denied the crown. So you decided to team up with another younger brother instead. You must have seen something of your something of yourself in him. That's a way to put it, I suppose. Never thought about it like that. And despite that, he left you and your men to die. Doesn't that bother you? It does, but I'm not the one to complain uselessly. I, re I, must remain to I must remain loyal to my house to the end. You take your vows too seriously. I may have been tricked by Thorgrim, but I respect the Code of Steel. Mortimer tricked me, but if he had a good reason, I'd accept my fate. <laughs> I wouldn't. Alright, and since we're right here, I think we're just gonna do some shopping. Okay, I have uh, 10,000 gold. What do I lack? Hey, Isabel, have you regretted your choice? No, I'm glad to get to see my uncle's. I'm glad I get to see my uncle smile. I couldn't have lived with myself if I. Well, let's not dwell on such gruesome thoughts. Personally, I still blame Galahad for Bout's death. He must have had something to do with it. When this war is over, I want him behind bars. 
That's fair. He may not have killed Bald, but he knew what was going on. I doubt a steel captain would be so oblivious to Mortimer's intentions. It's fair to make him pay some justice. Well, I hope you're still with me when it comes to Mortimer. I don't want to kill my cousin. I already buried my father, but I understand if this, this is what must be ultimately done. Uh, we can't let another tyrant run Underon's people into the dirt. I'll be honest, I'm sick of and tired of tyrants ruling us. Caiathus, Thorgrim, Randall, these pricks never let up. <laughs> well, maybe we'll make you king once this is all over. No, thank you. I'd rather retire to a nice beach hut. Just pay me a pension for my good service in this war. I think we, we can make that work. And last but not least, Elanda. Oh. Hey, Theodore, thank you for being so vigilant by looking after Elanda. I've been so occupied with this war, I have almost not spoken to her. How is she holding up? She's currently resting, but I don't know how much good it will do her. She's getting worse by the day. Where is Eamon? Sleeping peacefully in his crib. Don't worry, he is guarded. We are setting out soon, but I think maybe it is best if you stay behind with Elanda. If we don't return, you need to flee with her and Eamon somewhere far away from here. Of course, you don't even need to ask. I will continue to protect them both. Jaka. Theo. Here, Ayla. I'm here too, my lady. You need to take me with you. What? Don't be foolish. Mortimer. I need to speak with him. P please, take take me to the, th the shrine. No, I won't allow it, Ayla. It's too dangerous. Before I die, I need to speak with him one last time. There is something I have to ask him. It's important. I don't have much time left. Please, heed my dying wish. What do you say, Theodore? It's your final request. I, I can't deny it. Very well, Hela. You may come with us, but Eamon is staying behind here. Thank you. I hope we're not making a mistake, Theodore. I think we're uh, gonna, well, talk to this dude and then talk to Brianna. Unless, I don't know if, what the order is, but I can talk to this guy, too. Lord of Lances. Steel Knight. Uh, what's your name? You want to know my name? Sure, it's a little awkward to be calling you Steel Knight. Caden of House Steel. Caden, I've been wanting to ask. Go on. Did you ever meet Vaudimon? I did. And what about me? Did we speak before today? We did. I knew I recognized you. You were in that tavern. Vaudimon's 20th birthday. I heard your voice. You have a good memory. Well, y your voice is hard to forget. We shared a drink, had some laughs. A different era. I was right after the rebellion four years ago. You seemed happier then. Did something change? I was not a steel knight at the time. Not long after, my wife fell ill. She caught a plague remnant strain. She perished. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. I became a broken man. My thoughts darkened. I cast myself into a burning fire pit. Commander Galahad was nearby at the time. He rushed to my side and pulled me out. My body was burned, disfigured. Lady Harriet attended to my wounds, but she cannot heal my broken psyche. Psyche? The death of my wife was too great a pain. You're a steel knight now. Something changed then. Lord Galahad spoke to me. He made me an offer. He gave me a new purpose. I, I would defend Onderon. I am a machine of war now, sent to kill our enemies. Happiness has no meaning, nor does joy or love. Now I feel only the steel of my armor engulfing me. How many have you defeated since becoming a steelborn? I do not count them. I see. Are we done with the small talk? Please buy what you need. I do not enjoy speaking. I will. Thank you, Caden. And... Okay, then. All right, I think we are finally ready to talk to Brianna. Seems your husband has fled to the, to the Lumina Shrine. Bah! To the Lumina Shrine. Want to tell me what he's up to? You could save lives. Nothing to say. Just going to stand there silently? Mortimer is not the villain you make him out to be. He's sacrificing everything to save Aurora from demons. Oh, I don't doubt that he's sacrificing everything. Innocent souls, Bounty Mon's life, all sorts of things. But that has nothing to do with defeating demons. I met a demon once. He had a lot in common with Mortimer. 
For years, Andoran's houses have grown decadent and lost their way. They no, no, they no longer follow the values espoused by the Lightbringers. Of course, King Caiathus was not a noble man either. No, he wasn't. But what does this have to do with Mortimer? Everything. Mortimer planned his rise to king for a full decade. He never wanted to kill Bahimon. It's just Hilanda appeared. She threw his plans into chaos, and he had to rework them. So you're blaming Elanda too, just like he did in the prisons. If Mortimer had just asked, Baud would have given them the throne. Your husband is a filthy devil damned murderer, period. Mortimer originally planned to trick Baudimon with a Tamayatan's fork. He had Prince Elrodon dancing to his tune, a simple-minded fool. Baudimon, Baudimon would have assumed Tamayat was readying themselves for war. Using the war, Mortimer planned to slowly gather power under Randall. And when the time was right, Alexander would have backstabbed Randall. Houses Spearguard and Flameguard and Ring were secretly loyal to Mortimer. Mortimer would take the throne and Baudimon would have stepped back. Exactly! Baudimon wouldn't care, he never wanted to rule Onderon. Mortimer could have just followed the same plan and he'd be king. He couldn't know what sort of influence Elanda would wield. After spending a few days with her, he noticed her ambition. Elanda would have pushed for the Baudimon to contend the throne. In the end, it would have resulted in a similarly bloody civil war. But what does any of that have to do with demons? You're dancing around the important points. Think carefully, Sir Jaka. The nobility were corrupt. Do you think Mortimer would want Flame Guard to exist? A house that conducted vile experiments on innocence? Could he ever truly trust a backstabber like Alexander? So you're saying... Mortimer had to clean up the refuse, refuse tainting Aurora. Somehow the corrupt nobles would need to be purged. Because of Elanda, he had to change his original plan. It destroyed him. Mortimer never wanted Baudimon dead. But that is how the wheels of fate turned. I don't believe a single word you've said. When you see Mortimer next, he'll confirm my words. He has no reason to hide the truth any longer. I'll wring the answers out of him myself. Advance to the final battle. <clears throat> this is it. The last chance to pull out. From now on, there's no turning back. Are you guys sure you want to do this? I'm with you all the way to the end. Let's go face Mortimer head on. Either Mortimer dies or we do. Oh, I'm so excited, jumping for joy. All right, let's move. Time to end this. Oh my gosh, here we go. Chapter final. Lights return. According to Galahad, Mortimer has now traveled to the Sacred Lumina Shrine. Before Thorgrim tore it down, it was the largest Lightbringer Shrine in Onderon. Now, a single man stands alone inside, his un intentions unknown but worrying. The Jaka Corps rushes east to intercept Mortimer, hoping he'll arrive in time. Wait, listen. Yep. It's a reworked theme. -na 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 -na. Is it a is that this is it a steel theme this is or I don't I don't remember where this plays. It plays a lot, but I don't remember who or if it's specific to somebody. It's probably like I don't know. Whatever. We finally arrived. It seems that Mortimer is holed up here alone. I'll go in first. I want to talk to the man myself. I want answers. Jaka, I'd hope you'd give up. I didn't want to fight you. No kidding. I wouldn't want to fight me either, Mortimer. I've come for my revenge. Because I killed Baudimon. That's right. I'm glad, you I'm glad you admitted the truth. Any last words? I never wanted to kill Baud, you know. He just had to find a Lightbringer Royal. Don't you dare blame Elanda. Oh, I would never do that. Oh, Jaka, if only... If only what? My wife never returned to my side. Have you killed Brianna? 
No, I'm not a murderer like you. I won't kill a pregnant woman. But we have, her, we have captured her and put her in Castle Steel's dungeon. If you give up now, I might even set her free- set her and your baby free. That's good. You're a better man than me. Thank you for sparing Brianna's life. You didn't have to do that. You don't sound as if you are about to surrender. Don't you care about saving your wife? I do. I love her more than... more than you can imagine. She was there for me in the early days, the hard times. When mother died, Brianna was there for me. When I began to build the foundation for the work, she was there as well. Huh? The work? What is what is that? What are you talking about? Brianna is the only person I've ever told my secret. But thanks to you, I need no longer hide my true self. I pray you will listen to my story, Jaka. Hear me out. Everything I've done, I did for a good reason. Even killing Bowdymon, I'd never have done that. I've never had done- I ne I'd never have done that unless I saw no other path forward. As for why Elonda forced me to change my plans, well, perhaps it's better I show you. You- Huh? Wait. What are you- You have white hair? You're a light bringer? No, I impossible. You're using illusion magic. My brown hair was the illusion. My white hair is the truth. My true identity is Mortimer Lightbringer, son of Caiathus. My mother was Lady Maria. I am a bastard born out of wedlock. My mother taught me magic so I could hide my true appearance. How do I know you're telling the truth? My mother used to take me to the shrines as a boy. During one visit, I had a vision of the future. I learned of an evil that might arise up in Onderon. Upon Onderon. A fate which would come to pass unless I intervened. The Divines are dead, Jaka. They no longer shield Terra. Humanity must protect itself. A difficult task at best. Only I can complete the work and defend Aurora's future. So your humanity savior, its hesitant protector, good guy Mortimer kills his brother because why? You're dancing around the truth. Why did you have to kill Bout? I am Elonda's half brother, a true born royal light bringer. I am the male heir of our house. But that is only if she and I were to ascend individually. Elonda marrying Bautimon would have made for a different story. Bautimon is my older brother. Elonda is a light bringer. Together they would have held a stronger claim to, the claim to the throne. I cannot allow my sister to bring about a f that future I saw. What makes you so certain that Elonda would have screwed up? Maybe it's you who's going to summon this supposed darkness. I know my own c capabilities. I am precise and competent. If you believe in me, I'll save Onderons from the de I'll save Onderon from the demons. Your wife told me you intended to eliminate the noble houses. How could I trust you when you commit such evil acts? The nobles had become corrupt. You know this to be true. I used your presence to lower their guard, then kill them. In the future, they will not be able to oppose my reign. The Lightbringers shall rise once more, but untainted. We will never again fall into decade decadence and immorality you <sighs> Caiathus was no better than any of the nobles you killed how dare you justify genocide my father was a flawed man he was incompetent he was an incompetent leader he ignored Onderon's founding intent and failed its people. But while Caiaphas paid the price, the lesser houses did not. They continued living while they did not deserve their stations. So you had me kill them all. When a fire ravages a forest, the embers burn all foliage to ash. But in its wake, new greenery will grow taller than before. Today I have completed the work. Now my ultimate weapon is ready. 
the lesser houses have no choice but to acqu damn it words but to acquish a a a <laughs> uh, to my demands. All right, but I have one. But I, I I have but one last question. Go on. Why would you want to kill Bautimon, but not Elonda? Don't tell me you want to wed her or something. No, it's not. It's nothing like that. I am not born of House Steel. I am a son of Flaus, House Flameguard and House of Lightbringer. I wanted to keep Bout alive if possible because I loved him. But when the choice arrived, I chose to save my blood sister. I couldn't let them both live, nor could I kill them both. How selfish of you. Sister, you've no right to refer to me with such terms. What loving brother kills his sister's husband? You never tried getting to know me. Who knows? I might have surprised you. I wanted to bring back our house's name, true, but I was flexible. If you had spoken honestly, I would have stepped back and to let you rule. Instead, you spoke kind words to my face, but plotted behind my back. Because of you, my husband is dead. Onderon lost a kind and loving man. Hey, Londa. I am sorry. What good will an apology do now? Will it summon revival magic? Can it undo the hurt and pain you have spread across your country? From where I stand, you're no better than Thorgrim, killer of our family. If your ideal future requires such wickedness, then I must resist it. That is what it means to be a true child of the Lightbringers. You hate me. I understand. I've treated you poorly. I've betrayed your trust. But don't you see? I'm only trying to do the right thing for Onderon. Ottermer, have you ever in your entire life told the truth? So what if Bautimon and I had taken the throne? You could have acted as a proxy ruler, leading us with wisdom. Don't you think Baud and I would have cherished your advice? Bautimon, the heart of Onderon? Mortimer, the brain of Onderon? But instead, you became obsessed with making yourself the hero. You killed him, not because you saw a dark future for Onderon, but because you had to be the one praised in future legends. Jaka sees it, and so do I. You're an ego-driven madman. Please, sister. It's not like that at all. Lie to yourself and lie to me, but you cannot lie to the divines. The divines are dead. They live inside all our hearts, but yours is cold and twisted. You can no longer sense them. Oh, divines, forgive my foolish brother for his sins. Hey, Londa, what are you doing? A lightbringer shrines, brightest in the dark. Ancestors, divines, please grant me the power to stop my fallen brother. Help me repair the damage caused by his twisted and evil machinations. Oh, man. Wait a minute. What level was she? I have no idea. Oh, look at that staff. That's pretty cool. 13. Oh, and she, she doesn't look haggard and dead anymore. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? Uh, uh. Your body. You've activated the Lumina Shrine's power? Our father never taught you the true ways of light, the Lightbringers. But he did teach them to me. This shrine does not belong to killers of brothers and mothers. It belongs to those who maintain the principles of our ancestors. I won't let you drag our family's name into the mud with vile acts. I don't want to fight you. Come to your senses. We're Lightbringers. We should stand united against the lesser dogs of these low noble houses. Not fight amongst ourselves. You may share my blood, but you are not a true Lightbringer. I will defeat you and leave the future in my child's hands. If you don't give up now, then you're going to die in the shrine. Both of you are making a mistake. I'm the one who will save Aurora. Don't you see? Standing against me will only hurt yourselves. Do you want to talk about us being hurt? <laughs> you're the one who killed Bautimon. You've inflicted enough pain for all of our sakes. Fine. So be it. If you want to fight, I'll give you one. 
I see you brought along the ancestors of Agalia. That will make this next part a lot easier for me. What? Wait, you can't mean... In dire times, the ancestors must answer the king's call. You two have forced my hand. I reclaim your regalia with the power of the Lum Lumina Shrine. Come forth, honored ancestors. I invoke your ancient powers. This sacred shrine is under the threat by determined foes. I call upon you to protect it. Lord Ash of House Ashburn. Lord Vat of House Darkhold. Lord Archibald of House Windlands. Lady Rosella of House Rose. Lord Florian of House Speargarden. Lady Gael of House Ring. Lady Dawn of House Lightbringer. Lady Hell of Fla House Flameguard. And Lord Bolivar of House Steel. And now it is time for you to... Now it is time for you all to die. I will use the power of the shrine. And alongside the great heroes of the noble houses, I will kill you all. Oh my gosh. We've got light. Oh, these are actual... Okay. Just light walls. They... Wait. Oh my gosh. Great. So, we got walls with a counter. Taking it one, two ranges reflected. So, anything with be better range, like a longbow, seems like it can do something. And, um, Darius is one tone thing. Saint. Okay, yes, I wanted to see what she gained here, but 32 magic and her growths are pretty good. She is level 1, so she can level. Last light. All allies within four tiles recover 40% HP each turn in Nihil. Nihil, Nihil, or I don't know. Priestess empowered by the divines to smite evil. Alright, 90% res. Her speed is maxed. Wait. Okay. Wow. Six move, six con. Last sucks, but oh well. Okay, should we take a look at some enemies here? Oh, they've got the, they've got the gosh darn, uh, uh, Galia. Wait, another Gale shot? Is it this because we don't get, we're not allowed to have two? <laughs> but we do have one of these, right? I don't understand what's happening here. Another Void Flare? Or... Wait, we have to get them back? Is that what's happening? <laughs> oh, Regalia of House Lightbringer. Grant Skill Miracle. Dawn. Dawn is an incredibly... Isn't incredibly scary, but... She's pretty quick. And I don't... Oh, Miracle must make it so you're, you can't die. I don't know. Okay, Lodestar, too. Swords and Magic. Uh, yeah, that's not cool, Archibald. Remember that name from, like, FE... E3 in, like, 2012. Uh, Glaciers is incredibly scary. Rightful Lord, plus 10% to skill activation rate. So it's like a... Frickin' 50% chance that procs, basically. Great. So how... I frickin'... Oh, God. And these guys can rush you. Through the aura, which... Will they? Is... Questionable. Ash, the house... The founder of house Ashburn, and he's a con. 
Oh. I see. He's a con. So... Okay. He's kind of slow, but he's got crazy defense and strength. Colossus double strength. Okay. Heavy strength. Heavy strikes add weapon weight to critical chance. Great. It's a 40% plus whatever else. It's 50 crit. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's insane. That is insane. Oh, and Mortimer. We should probably check him. Uh, and oh, oh my god, she's she's gonna be she's gonna be tough. And the bulwark, regalia of house steel, negates critical hits. Boulevard. Oh boy, that seems fun. Ugh. What are those skills? Tower shield negates all damage done from ranged attacks. Cool. And we can't steal from him, of course. And of course we have Mortimer here with annoying staffs. That's really nice. And he's a sage. He's got the Dawn Breaker. Dawn Caller's true form. Grant skill flare, which is just like insane um, magic damage, right? Something like that. Um, yeah, a lot of luck. <clears throat> Not a lot of defense. There's that, at least. So, yeah. He's the only one that doesn't really move. Oh, what is this guy like? The founder of House Darkhold. And... Void Shield 70. Wait, why? 70. Oh, my God. This unit is immune to stat debuffs. And Night Tide, of course. Gale Force... Which is kind of crazy if it's an Iron Man, but if not, you're not really gonna probably stand to get killed like twice. <laughs> I don't know. Bow range plus one. Okay, Jesus. So it's a two to three range, essentially, which is insanity. And she's super fast. She's going to double everybody almost. Actually, I think she's literally going to double everybody. She loses two points of speed, so her speed is 38. Okay. Okay, well, let's uh, do some preps, I guess, and we'll get back to this, I, I hope. Okay, I think we're just going to go for it. I don't. I have no idea what what is in store for us here, but we're just going to go see what happens. This is... I. I can't help but feel, but there's going to be more we're not going to see. Uh, this could be a whole chapter in itself where, you know, we have to fight all these freaking bosses, basically, with regalias. Uh, and that would be a thing with the light the light walls or whatever they, these are called. Uh, but knowing this game is probably going to be... Oh, man. Horrors spawning out of the stairs and everything, making it even worse. So we'll, we'll see. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Mortimer stole the regalia out of our hands, but it doesn't matter. We will defeat the so-called king. Everyone, this is our last battle. Thank you for being by my side. This battle is not only for Bowd, but for Elanda and Aemon too. If we don't win today, Mortimer will continue to rule Onderon. We have to take him down and put an end to his reign, to his reign of tyranny. Are you all with me? Oh, we're gonna do this? <laughs> Grampy suffered because of Mortimer's treachery. Mortimer, you evil bad man, crumble to dust. First I lost Jacob, then I lost Bowd. I'm tired of losing my loved ones. Mortimer, you snake. I'll split your skull if it's the last thing I do. Ooh, I am so mad. Mortimer, you've got a bad day coming. I'm gonna beat you senseless. Angvik, watch over me, for today I will avenge Baudimon's killer and regain my lost honor. I will show no mercy in this battle. Don't mess with this centaur. <laughs> Son of Caithus, the time for your judgment has come. You cannot pry a regalia from the hands of a true ancestor. I now call upon the ancient regalia of the war monks. Lumina, give me strength. Hope's fire again. That's Lord Bolivar in the flesh. Are we really going to fight him? He's the ancestor of House Steel. I can't believe he's here. 
My dear brother Caiaphas, your son is in so much pain. I'm sorry, but I may have to put him to rest today. I have a little bit of strength in me yet. I will use it all in this last battle. Hmm, Mortimer is a tricky fellow, but I can be pretty, pretty tricky myself. Let's see who will come out on top. <laughs> little King thought he was sneaky, hiring me to kill Jaka. But now I'm coming for Morty, Morty boy's head instead. Funny. So, Mortimer found a way to unseal the regalia. Absolutely magnificent. I'm excited to see them. And look, I even see your Lord Vought. Lord Vought, the founder of House Darkholm. He'll be surprised to see me. Mortimer's gonna put up a good fight. Finally a challenge. Wow, a Lightbringer Shrine. I always wanted to, wanted to perform in one of these. Brother, this is for you. Grandfather, I hope you are watching. I will bring this evil man to justice, and it shall do it for you and House Rose. Mortimer, I'm coming for you. Bautimon, watch over us. I will avenge you. I gave you the chance to leave. Don't claim I started this war. I'm the one who will save Onderon. You're the ones obstructing me. Now, witness Lumina's full power. Here we go, he's gonna summon all the monsters. You can't use Lumina's magic to, cru magic to crush us here, Mortimer. We have a Lightbringer of our own, and her name is Elonda. Oh, no. Mortimer will unleash the full power of the Lumina Shrine against you. The only way to stop his onslaught is to destroy the shrine's walls. The ancestors will be weakened down for every wall you bring down. Oh, gosh. Literally the walls, huh? Okay. Alright, I think first... I think first we go after Dawn. I, I don't... I don't think she's that scary. Uh, unless she crits. <laughs> um, and to do that, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we use Mortimer here. Er, <clears throat> I'm thinking that... Um, <laughs> I'm thinking... That we use Shome here to break down this wall. Uh, to attack the wall, and then she will attack him, hopefully? Maybe? I honestly don't know. And I also want to see what kind of damage we do here. Because that would be nice if we can get rid of some of these, probably. If we crit, we don't, uh, get damage on ourselves, right? Yes, okay. Alright, Aisha levels up. Never too late for some levels. Um, so the most concerning part right off the bat, I'm thinking, is if we're moving... It seems like we're moving, otherwise they wouldn't have range, right? Because all the other bosses in the game haven't... And non-bosses who don't move have movement. Uh, don't have... Uh, do have movement. I don't know. Um, so... I'm kind of thinking we might back off, let her come to us, hit, uh, stand on the pillar, try to take an Alistor to the face. 25 crit is insane, right? 13, and she's got 22 magic. Uh... 35 times 2. I think we can eat that. Somebody can eat that, right? Lilinette could eat that. Elonda could eat that, but we barrier one of them, they'll totally eat it. Uh, if we had a dark magic, like Helga, she could eat that pretty good. And then maybe even hit him with some hit her with some Fenrir. But I don't know how much res she has, so if this is twenty be forty-eight damage. That would be some pretty good damage, but she would double us, but if we bury her, we might not even take any damage. So, I don't know. That might be a good plan for her. And this... This dude's gonna charge us, which we could maybe enemy phase, but then there's this guy. And that's gonna be hard to deal with all of them at the same time. So, maybe... Maybe we kinda try to... do something like this and crit that 
Dun 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 dun. And Gladiolus is a one-two range. But if we throw... If we throw Galahad here, how much damage... Magic damage does he do? Pretty good damage here. If we are able to kind of use this, strike twice, or we can nose Feratu, but how much damage is he doing? 44, and we've got 33 HP, or defense. Will he double us? 29? Yes, he's going to double us. Uh, so it'll only be 11 times 2, right? Only. Nope, not that general. <laughs> I think we do that, and then this guy can charge us, and we sh I'm thinking we could maybe player phase that guy. As long as we're out of range if, with everybody else. Um, also, what kind of damage does she do? She will double pretty much anybody. She will double pretty much anybody with the Gale Shot. 34 damage, so... Honestly, Victoria might be able to eat that, though. I don't see why not. And we could possibly player phase her with Victoria and someone else. And that is going to weaken everybody. So, but how much does it weaken everyone? Uh, it's noticeable stats. It's noticeable that the stats went down, so that's interesting. Uh... And I could maybe even dance for her and go and attack her. 11 defense. What are those skills? 11 defense. We're doing 42. That's like 30 something each for each. Oh, that's kind of tempting, but it's a little bit scary. Should we just try and see? Uh, I probably should have. Also, are all our animations on? Yes. Critical hit chance. Oh, those are the same. Avoid. I guess critical hit chance. Why not? And <laughs> she levels up strength. And yeah, 22. Oh, 120 avoid. All right, that's pretty crazy. Um, should have expected that, to be honest. Um, and how does crit work in this game? Honestly, I do not know. Uh... But, we don't have a range item. Uh, which is unfortunate, because... I really would like to know... What we're dealing with here. 33. I mean, that's not going to do a lot of damage to Victoria. Uh, are we in range of over here? Not quite. So if I do this... And get... Almost a Tethys out of the way. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then longbow range. So right there. We are out of range if we can rescue her Kanto out of the way with Christina. So I'm thinking I kinda wanna try this. I got you in my sights. I really oh <laughs> I was gonna say I really don't see this hitting. Or any of that hitting, but you never know, right? And so I think we I think we rescue here. Uh, we want to get... Let's see. I think we do... F Fenrir. And... Barrier? You got a barrier? Do you have dark spikes? You do have dark spikes? And we'll Fenrir, or we'll Barrier Helga. So now she shouldn't be taking much damage, if any, from this. We'll see, I guess. Uh, and then this guy. Uh, first of all, we gotta get out of the range, I suppose. Yes. Um, Uh, and Darius can actually summon to probably break down the walls is a good idea. Uh, not these walls. Or, yeah, those walls. I 
Okay. That's good to know. And... Jocka. What can Jocka do? This guy's gonna be scary if he is charging us. Um... We want Madeline up here. And someone else who could, uh... Trade over the barrier sword would be nice. Because... He's got crazy... Um, attack. And we would... Would we live there? 31 res minus 69 be 38. Yes, we would live. Um, let's see. Gosh, Albert is not good. <laughs> Albert is not good. Uh, I'm kind of thinking... I don't have very many uh, movements left. Okay. Um, and I did... Oh, I, did, I, I didn't even talk about my preparations, but I, I benched Runa. I do have a very... Um, I have... I'm happy about this game letting you deploy so many units. There are so many, like the mainline Fire Emblems, at least the JBA games, uh, 7 and 8 to be specific, they give you pretty good range of units to use throughout the game and towards the late game, and then the final chapter they restrict you to bring like 8 other than the required Lords, Athos, and Nils. And I always found that very annoying. It's like you put all this time into other characters and then see, all of a sudden you just can't really use them. Lame. So, yeah, I like that we have 18 characters in this chapter. Two are obviously Jaka and uh, Elanda, but still very, very nice. Uh, shoot. I do want to get rid of some walls here. I think I'm just going to go for this. And... Pray for a crit. <laughs> All right, uh, they've got a support, so can s no, <laughs> that is a misclick. That is absolutely a mis misclick. I, it, the Lumina and the Fortify too should have like a confirm button. You know, it's like, are you sure you want to use that? Uh, because I don't know that you meant to hit that, because it's a target all staff. Not really fair, is it? So who else supports a Londa? Zacharias does. I can have him right here. I can Physic Ahmed, because why not? And then Jaka, is Jaka really, I mean, he could Brave, he could Brave Lance him. That might be effective if uh, we need to. Uh, and why not, let's see, why not attack that? Get a crit maybe, yep, nice. Okay, and uh, Isabel. Isabel. What do we do with Isabel? Isabel needs to stay down here to help with, uh, you know, the efforts. The the colossal efforts. Or, I don't know. Uh, Christina. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I think maybe just move her up there a little bit, see what happens. <clears throat> Centaur, do not hide from battle. We meet our enemies head on. Okay, is nobody going to move? Because I felt like that was a pretty good first turn to bait people. Okay. <laughs> I seem to be under a spell right now. Maybe I can break it. I don't know that you can, man. But is that like a Dark Leon type of... Uh... Oh, that's got to be the crit. Oh my gosh, that's a pretty awesome animation. And she's gonna double him. And she's gonna double crit him. Oh my god. Elonda is cracked. And she doesn't even have her regalia. Revived once, only to die. At least I can sleep now. Alright, I would have liked to see the uh, conversation with Varg. Or, is that his name? Varg? But, uh, Elonda didn't even give us a chance. So this is fine. And we got Void Flare. Send out the supply. 
Bark can take that out. And oh, I did not realize we were uh, in range here. That's dumb. You woke me up for this? Such a trivial matter or something like that? The younger generations are so slothful. And uh, yeah, you're gonna murder me. Archibald. Okay, so that's actually not good to have him right there. I fought in three great wars. This one hardly even counts. Oh, our hit rate's not good, but we hit one. We hit one, that's good. We hit both. We hit both. All right, that's, that's good. Oh, she crits. That's scary. But I think she should be done for. Feel the wrath of Joseph's, Joseph's daughter, Lady Dawn. Oh my gosh, that's a cool animation. The, the color change alone is like pretty sweet. And this is just blue elf fire. Wait, can we double? We double her? Wait, duh. We double her. I hope to return and slay one last demon emperor. It seems I won't be getting my wish. Kind of sucks that Dawn is on the enemy team. Like, we could potentially have had her on our team. Alright. What a sad day for me to waste my revival on this. Yes. Definitely. Oh my gosh. How nice would it be? Oh, <laughs> that's crazy. How nice would it be if uh, one of our units could use this? And how come we don't get these back? Is it just because nobody can use it? Is that... Wait. If I kill her without getting uh, Christina to S rank, I don't get Rose Thorn. Or... I guess we just don't get it at all? Or are we going to get both of them somehow? Oh, God. 98%? Wow. Okay. Okay, then, Mortimer. Oh, wait. Whoa there. How do you uh, know where that's coming from? Just random? Or is it like the most units? I don't know. My illusions will assist my army. Oh. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, then. How strong are they, though? Okay, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, they're only one... Wait. Do they have magic? They just have staves? Oh, okay, that's annoying. And recovers! Yo! Don't let them get... Don't let them heal. Don't let them heal anyone. Okay, What? what is the play here? High crit chance or one shot a one shot capability I don't actually know there that's tricky okay first of all let's deal with something else let's deal with this oh I don't do any damage oh my gosh armor slayer yes okay let's see here oh gosh Uh, Dawn is gone, but Shom's ancestor or whatever is over here really screwing things up. Oh my gosh, we need Victoria over here. I wonder if she has good hit rate on him. She must. His accuracy, actually his accuracy is pretty good, so she probably doesn't. His dodge is just pretty good. Okay. We don't want to get glacied. And his speed is pretty insane, but his defense is bad. Defense is very bad. What are the chances we crit? Bad. We don't double this guy. Oh, duh. Okay. Alright. Hmm. That's a tricky one. This might be a... This might be an Aubrey play. I... I feel like this is pretty safe, right? Yes. 
yeah. Okay. To be summoned like this and not even fight demons. What a tragedy. All right. Okay, I, I think that's probably like almost all she can do anyway. Archgale, yes, please. I don't know where her growths are, but she's maxed on everything basically but luck, defense, and res. So, and they're all <laughs> and res. Her luck doesn't have 100%, so whatever. It's all good. Okay. Um, she's got a lance, though. Should have given her uh, not a lance. And are these only gl not glowing because two items or something? You can't give away two items? I don't know. Well, we, there's an easy kill right there. But this is more pressing. Okay, so... Hunting bow. Okay, that's pretty good damage. Oh! You are a child of House Ashburn, a true centaur king. Ashburn is a two-legs house. I am a son of Lord Ongvik. Ongvik, my brother? Bah, you have lost your way. How dare you insult the name of the forest god? Die here, false ancestor. Okay, interesting stuff. Oh my gosh, he crits. We don't even need any effective weapons other than the hunting bow. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Um, <sighs> but I think that... I think we can have Christina. Such beauty, such a strong stance. I sense a spear master. Child, who trained you to be such a fearsome knight? My grandfather, but he's dead, and I helped kill him. Oh, such a tragedy, like the drama from the plays. Do you miss your old man? I do. I wish I didn't have to kill him, Lady Rosella. I wish I didn't have to fight you either. People live and people die. Some lives are warm. Others fought with fraught with tragedy. There is beauty in both. Regret not your grandfather's passing. Remember his life. That is how you can best honor his legacy. Thank you, Founder. I'll carve this wisdom upon my heart. Oh. She has vantage. Well, it's a good thing we're not in danger of dying. Right? Well, at least I may return to rest once again. Okay. Christina gets a level up. We're doing level ups here. Alright, that's a pretty good one. 60 HP. Is that max? I don't know. Oh, we do get out of the store. Nobody can use that, but Rose Storm, we could use that maybe one day. I think I'm just gonna get rid of that. In anticipation. If we even get there, we might not even get there. Uh, okay, so let's see. These guys aren't moving yet. Seven left. Oh, those are the walls, right? I forgot. We have to, to, we have to break the walls. I almost forgot. All right. Um, so this part over here might be kind of kind of difficult. Wait. Yes. Okay. We'll use holy fire. Why not? Don't mess with this centaur. Fight me in an honorable battle. All right. Yes. You got crit in your face. Remember to cherish my children of the forest. Yes. Ash Cleaver. Give that to... Are we going to really need this? Or this? Get rid of that. Okay. Are any of these skills going to activate and kill me? Store damage dealt. No. 
So I think that we can do this. And if we don't crit, which we didn't, we can kill with uh, Helga. And that's a crit. Alright. Wait. Didn't he damage me already? Did what happened to that damage? I'm confused. Okay, Fenrir. Um, you better not miss. But she didn't. I lost? Inconceivable. No one can beat me. Ah, uh, but it was... that was false. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. We really do gotta just go for this. One of these is gonna hit. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> I lost? Has my body become weaker? Um, it was already kind of weak, I guess. No one can use that, unfortunately. Um, let's see. Does anyone have a, a normal, just like, restore? Wait, is that it? No. No, but we can just do this. This is fine. a fortify um, well it's a fortify rest or restore but it's also a physic it's just a physic restore but this fortify animation that possibly could be confusing okay I think this is fine just get rid of it <laughs> oh my god okay thanks Albert that was great uh <laughs> We do get a we do gotta kill these walls though. That is that is a fact. A factor. Alright. Uh I think we'll just do that. And do we just grab the uh, things now? Might as well, right? And what does this guy do? Silence? Do we just get rid of him? Try to? Oh my gosh. This guy can't be touched. Oh my! Wow. Oh. Um, where are the other walls? Okay, there's one there, and then there's one way down here. You gotta take advantage of the, uh, the time we have right here. I feel like we're not gonna get it back. You know? Like, m you move it or lose it type of, type of thing. And of course I took the brave backs off of her. So this one, I feel like this is going to be scary because that's annoying and that is annoying. So that might be a Isabel venture. Um, also... Yep, and there 
There's that. We don't really want all these little Mortimers running around. I think. I think we don't want that. So let's get rid of those if we can. I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Jaka goes for this. Yep. I don't really think that was necessary, but it's in the way, right? I guess. And I think maybe we. Heal Christina. And she levels up! Wait, was that two res? Oh my gosh. No, it wasn't. Alright, and let's see. Uh, she's not gonna hit that, but she can hit this one probably, maybe. What else can she do, though? Not a lot, to be honest. We'll go for this. Nope. Uh. We gotta get. We gotta get rid of him. Okay. Oh, we gotta recover. Okay. Interesting. Oh, silence again. Oh, Berserk again. Wait, wait a minute. When does Berserk activate? Is it the beginning of player phase or the beginning of enemy phase? Okay, so now we're gonna have a bunch of freaking s statuses everywhere. Oh God. Oh God. Oh god, that's way too many. Ancient war monks, rise and protect your sacred sh shrine. Oh god. Okay, that is... This is... This is... <laughs> Alright. This is bad. <laughs> This is bad. Where, where, don't we have another Matrona? Didn't somebody get that? And how good are these guys? Okay, they're strong. Wow, that's like the same build as I gave Zacharias. That's pretty crazy. Hammer. Oh, man. Does Lumina... Oh, gosh. Okay, this is actually probably a good time to use one of the Lumina staffs. Only who knows what is to come, but sheesh. There's three of them down here, and we can't... <laughs> we can't really have that. And these guys here... So they're, oh, I was going to say they're leaving axes aren't uh, really doing anything for them up here. Sword Reaver. Okay, yep. We're going to just do this. Aubrey is actually kind of, kind of nuts. Just destroys these guys. Get rid of the sword, the sword Reaver guy. And another level up. <clears throat> Let's get more bulky, I guess. All right. This wall's gotta go. Five left. There's another up here. That's gonna be tricky. Both of those are. Thirty-eight and twenty-four speed. Thirty-eight, and it is magical diff uh, damage, right? So she won't double me if I use the one thing. But holy crap, is that scary? Okay, so we've got the even and the brave axe. Victoria can just come and bust that wall. Let's see here. We 
got to get rid of these because, my gosh. My goodness, they are annoying. Oh, the restore. That's actually not that huge because we have a couple of them, but still. Oh, I probably should have done the wall, huh? Okay, so we want Isabelle up here. Definitely. Uh, and this might be an issue here. But actually, Madeline deals with them kind of nicely, so... And we could just keep walking away, honestly, over here. Darius, I think Darius summons an Ahmed to whack these walls over here. If he crits, that would be cool. If he didn't. <laughs> and I think they can handle this wall here. Uh, might be better to just take out the the Morty, the Morty clone. And Varg is needed up here as well. Okay. Um, I'm kind of thinking I just go for go for that. If I get silence before she attacks, that's really gonna suck. But what uh, what are you gonna do, right? Probably should have barriered. Definitely should have barriered. Uh, oh, she has Matrona too. I forgot. Okay, now it's just them two. Honestly, let's rescue somebody up here. Either one of them, but. I'm thinking Galahad because... Strictly because Garum's... Or what? That was not... was not what I wanted. Strictly because Gala, uh, Garum has the brave weapons and he can... Break that and come back up with better movement as well. So... Alright. Oh yes, and it's invisible now, but it's healing as well. I hope you're strong. I hate fighting weaklings. Oh. There's a lot of crit there. Also, that was a... Oh! Okay. At least I was able to enjoy one last fight. Okay. Um. That's not how I thought that was going to go. Not at all. But okay then. Silence is going to hit me. <laughs> It's a good thing that he uh, didn't do that before before she attacked. That would have been that would have been lame. Good misses here. More misses. These are good misses. Did I hit anybody? Oh, hit Varg. Walls of light. Protect the shrine. More light. Okay. That's not too bad. Zacharius gets a bunch of HP back. That's actually pretty huge. Okay. And so... Garam. Brave bow. Another wall down. Ahmed. Get rid of one of those. that it's worth it. This could be worth it. Nice. The Gale Force. Okay. 
These guys are pretty uh, resistant, but at least can, uh, can do some damage. Victoria can climb her way back up. Aubrey just, uh, okay, Prox Assassination. Even better. Don't even waste the pet ch pet ch pet ch cat pet pet cat cat cat. Uh, okay. And, let's see. Christina can take one. Should be going after the wall, but <laughs> what are we doing? Okay, level, skill, luck, HP. It's not max HP, obviously, but it is max skill. <laughs> uh, all right, so let's see. This guy's going to attack with a brave weapon of choice. His um, shields are defensive, or his skills are defensive. I think we can probably just do that. And then his attack would only be 34, which is not much damage to us. Yes. You are done for. And this guy, I think Jaka can probably take. Or wait, we also have that wall to take it down. Jaka can take him now. Yes, easy. And Jaka should be able to take out that wall next turn as well. And let's see. Oh, forgot it's already uh, busted here. Two left. And we have one boss left, and he's looking not so powerful. So, what is to come, though, is the question. There's always something more, right? And the barrier sword actually works on on the war monks, which is pretty cool. Brought Madeline for this for this strat alone, barrier sword. Being effective against mages and her plus 20 res to when she attacks, giving her plus 30 with the barrier sword attacking phase. On top of her now 18 resistance. So, yes. Looks good to me. And to make sure we can bust this wall. I think I might try to rescue Victoria. I don't know how close she is, though. Oh, she's kind of far away. But she's not the only one with a brave weapon, right? <laughs> she might be. <laughs> but one, two, three, four, five, six. Isabel should, if we can kill Bolivar, else, somehow, else, some else how. Yes, that is good English. Dun, 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 dun. And nobody has their weapon yet. What are we doing? Starfall. Yes. 
What is we get? What is we getting? <laughs> yes, very nice. And let's see. Might as well heal Ahmed, why not? And rescue Victoria. There, oh, they can support. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So close. So very close. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> oh well. Wait. Why can she not initiate the support? That is lame. Is it like no supporting in the last battle? Still alive somehow, I see. I, to our mutual dismay, I still draw breath somehow. I've watched you fight, and I must say, I've never seen anyone brawl like you. Where did you learn to fight? By brawling with Brendan's men. We often fight on deck. Is that so? I got lucky. In my first few fights, folks underestimated me because I saw an inex inexperienced girl. By the time I earned a few scars and the men started taking me seriously, I had it worked out. That sounds harrowing. Why don't you wear armor? Armor is part of a state of mind in which you admit the possibility of being hit. When I go into battle, I don't think. I rely on instinct to dodge and deflect. It still sounds crazy, but somehow it makes sense, I guess. So, um, I'm wondering. Why did you decide to answer my questions this time? It is a sea folk's way to meet hostility with hostility and respect with respect. The last time you approached me, like a raving <laughs> lunatic, so I responded in kind. I guess... I guess can... I guess I can get a little carried away sometimes. I just didn't know how to properly approach you. Because you saw me talking with Jaka and got jealous? Yes, that's basically it. Is it that obvious? And I'm surely not the only one that noticed you stealing glances at him constantly. Can't blame you, he's a handsome fellow. So how do you two know each other? Brandon, the man I sailed with until I joined you guys, is his stepfather. So we met a few times here and there. That's all there is. Really? That's it? Well, I would lie if I s said he hadn't piqued my interest. Well then, in that case, I consider you my rival. I'll even try adopting to the no-think style of yours. <laughs> You're on then. May the best woman win. Alright, funny, even though they're already technically married, but whatever. Or, I don't know if they're married, but they have that A support, so... You know. Okay. Recover. Lord Bolivar, my name is Lady Isabel of House Steel. I just wanted to offer you my respects before fighting you. You are a legend in my family. Hmm? What is this woman doing in steel armor? Excuse me? I am your blood descendant. And? My law laws stated when women of stated women of steel cannot bear arms. Yet here you are, defying my decrees. Unfi unfilial brat. I wasn't aware you ever laid down such laws, ancestor. They must have changed at some point, as laws do. Pfft. Later generations decline and fall to ruin. I should have known this would happen. Nothing worse than cultural rot that infests the blood. Today I've lost respect for you. How unfortunate. To think my ancestor was such a small-minded bastard. Okay, and uh, yeah, he's not very good either. So. We have weakened him quite a few bit, uh, steps, but still. Oh no, the sleep! Oh no! Oh! Oh no, the sleep. I'm asleep. And there's the arrow. Hits Boulevard. My illusions will tear you apart. Okay, these ones probably have magic then. Be saying that. Yes, Shine, Bulganon. Okay, these, these are actually scary. And they seem kind of random, which is also scary. But... Oh, my range is not right. Oh no. Can we dance for someone? I don't know that we can, unless we rescue. We can rescue somebody, though. Um... I think we rescue Madeline. She's got... 
a brave sword, and she's not super useful down there. Okay, and we might need another rescue to do it this turn, though, too. Oh my gosh. No crits. That's fine. Hmm. Rescue. Nope, that's not gonna work. Well, I could rescue uh, the dancer. And we still have to kill the guy. Which, we can use the armor slayer or the brave. Whoops. Brave Lance. Which is probably, probably the best way to go. I've killed adult dragons. You're no threat at all. Well, I think you're being out brave lanced here. And this is taking forever. Inconceivable! You're done for... And Asia levels. Just luck. There's not much for her to level. And we got the Bulwark. Which is good. Get rid of the Halberd. I think we need it. And get rid of one of you. can't quite do anything better, so we should might as well poke. He's got a rune sword. I hate rune swords. I don't hate rune swords. That was a fib. I'm sorry for fibbing. Okay. Um, just stab one of these. Holy fire is scary. Dun, 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 dun. I think after this wall, just gotta open up Mortimer, right? That's a fat crit right there. So, hmm. Oh, I messed that up, I suppose. Does he have a rescue? He does not. But, wait, oh, let's see. Thoron, Thoron, Lightbrand, Thoron's probably scary, but I would like to get rid of this dude here. And yep, everybody crits. It's a lot of that's a lot of crit for one HP. Jaka still is not level 20. Interesting. Guess I forgot I gave him an internal, eternal seal at some point. But is that max strength? I bet it is. Yeah. Okay, so 
then I think we can give you the rescue. And then get rid of one. And then we can literally just rescue and you can do this. Kind of silly, but save us one turn, right? That should be the last wall. You fools. What have you done? The shrine's power is fading. I told you, Mortimer. We're here to end you once and for all. Bastards. Don't you get it? I'm the one who will save Onderon. Not me. What? <laughs> Not you. Me. Stop getting in the way. I'm Onderon's lawful king. God, if you won't stand aside, then don't blame me for this. He's gonna become the Demon King or something great. 